hello from slide node and hello from weaves in this bit i'm going to show you how to make this diamond using stars if you're a beginner you probably had a lot of problems finding this program online because nobody has been able to explain it in a nice way it's very complicated if you see on forums and stuff this is a simple program if i ask the size 7 then this shows a diamond exactly of size 7 if you observe carefully there are seven rows and the middle one has seven columns so let's go ahead and see how this is done exactly first before we go ahead into the program and start doing stuff I need you guys to observe some things and that is exactly the meat of this entire program all right so if you see this diamond there are some weird things you need to note there are some three spaces at the start two one all right then one two three right so in short you have something like this the number of spaces is three in the first row two in the second row one in the third row and it goes increasing in the reverse way same way if you see the number of stars again now if you see the number of stars what I've done over here is I've removed all the spaces before the stars alright so there are no spaces over here it's just plain old stars as you can see there's one three five seven there's the same thing one three five seven without spaces so here again there are some numbers over here that you need to take a look and observe one three five seven five three one so what you want in the program is very simple you want these numbers alright to print the spaces you want these numbers to print the stars simple does it sound simple right uh, we just want need to generate these two numbers for the spaces and the stars and we are done that's all now use any method you want use any technique to Gen generate these numbers that's what this program is all about so let me go ahead and net beans and show you what I mean by saying generate these numbers and stuff let's go ahead and take a look so here on net beans I have nothing just an empty project what I have done is I have drawn those two stars so that we can easily refer this while making our program all right so let me go ahead and first I'm gonna make this all right without the spaces First, I'm going to find a way to do this without the spaces. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and put the spaces and make it look like a complete diamond. So in this bit, let's go ahead and see how to put this thing without spaces. So I'm going to have to say system dot out dot print for a star, right? This is going to print one star. Now remember, uh, there are seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I'm going to need seven uh, for loop over here for int i equals to one, i less than equals seven, i plus plus. And that's not enough. Each row has one, then it has three, then it has five, then it has seven, right? How do you make that? That's one of the biggest challenging questions which people have. So here's the thing. We put another for loop inside for printing the columns. I'll say for int j equals to one. j less than equals to. Now what can we keep? That's the tricky part. j plus plus. Let me show you exactly what I mean. And then since this for loop is for printing all the columns right now first this is one column this three columns this five columns this for loop is gonna do that all right so after this after each row I need a new line right to go to the next line and start printing stuff right so let me go ahead and put a new line over here system dot out dot print ln so if you put something like say j equals to five over here and run it you guys know what's gonna come control s shift f6 as you guys can see there are seven of five 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 because there are seven rows and there are five columns per row but remember we want one column in the first row three in the second five in the third seven in the fourth right so for that we'll do something called odd over here we'll keep this as odd all right and we'll start with odd equals to one now remember in the first time there's only one column right then it's three so in short it's gonna increase by two right each time we print a row we're gonna say odd equals to odd plus two sounds pretty simple so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens control s shift f6 now as you guys can see there are seven rows one three five seven but here's the problem after seven it's going nine eleven thirteen right i don't want that after seven i want again five three and one right so it, i need to decrease odd after uh, this row right this row which row is this this is the middle row which is one two three this is the fourth row right so what i'm gonna say is i'm gonna put a condition like this if the current row i is less than four then increase odd by two else decrease odd by two all right sounds simple increase odd by two or decrease odd by two. let's go ahead and run this and see what happens control s shift f6 as you guys can see perfect one row then we have i mean one column then three columns then five then seven and what happens at this point is i becomes five right 
Now let's take a look. I is 1, then I is 2, then I is 3, then 4. I becomes 5. So this condition goes false and odd starts decreasing. And that's why we get this, this and this. So in the next bit, I'm going to show you how to put spaces because this is a pretty long bit. So stay tuned, watching for the next bit. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next bit.